Components are the building blocks of a Blazor application. So much so that if you don't have a system in place to name, organize, and structure your Blazor components, your application will quickly end up being in a mess and make it very awkward to maintain. I've made a stack of messy applications in the four years that I've been working with Blazor. So here's five tips for creating and organizing your Blazor components in your next Blazor project. So when to make a component? The most obvious and common use for making a component is to make your code reusable. If you have a bunch of functionality that you want to reuse on multiple pages or within multiple components, then you would make a separate component. But sometimes it's also handy just to make a component so that it thins down some code that's on a co particularly complex page that you have already. You might also want to make a component when you have a bunch of HTML elements and you want to keep the styling consistent. And sometimes you may want to create a wrapper component for a component you may be get getting from a another library and putting your own twist or spinning it and making it a bit more specific or customized to the way you want to use it. How to structure your code for your component, you can either take the approach where you use a single file where your razor syntax and your C-sharp is in one file, or you can use the code behind where the razor sits in one file and that we have a separate C-sharp file. You tend to find that this is way better for more complex and bigger components, whereas the single file approach is perfectly fine for simple components. Then you wanna use CSS isolation so that you can write specific styling in a separate CSS file that is isolated to the single component you're working with. Every time you make a new component, you should be asking yourself, am I going to only ever be using this component on this project that I'm working on now? Or will I be able to use it throughout my development in other applications going forward in the future. If you plan to use it on other applications in the future, or you could potentially see yourself using it in, in the future, on different applications, I would recommend taking that component and putting in its own component library, separate solution, so that it can easily be referenced on other projects. Naming consistency is hugely important as your application scales and grows. You can quickly find yourself in a mess if you don't keep things consistent. I would strongly recommend adding a suffix to your components, describing what kind of UI the component actually portrays. Some examples would be the employee creation page or the employee edit form, employee list grid. Anything that tells us what kind of component it really is, at least from a visual point of view, this will help distinguish between your Razor components and your classes that may be working all with the same entity. Naming your parameters in your components is really, they're really just C-sharp properties, so you should just follow whatever naming conventions you have to do with C-sharp properties. I tend to use Pascal casing. Then your event callbacks, you really wanna be consistent with these. Ideally, these should be named anything in the past tense, so employee created, button clicked, form validated, Organizing your files and folders in the project. I tend to group files and folders based on the features that you're creating. So once again, if we're making an employee page, I would have normally an overarching section about pages and then grouping the pages together into a folder and then grouping each of the components into the feature that we're dealing with. So let's say we had an employee creation page. I would make a folder called employee creation and then have all the, the page and the relevant components inside that folder that all work on that page. We we'll take this approach for the components that belong and will only get used within the context of that page. If you've got a more globally used component, you may want to create a separate folder for the globally used components. The components that will be used throughout any application you write in the future, that should be completely outside of your project and your own component library. If you want to know more about the Blazor event lifecycle, you can watch this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.